Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. In today's video we're going to be giving you a quick overview on how to use the Brake Rewind tool as you can see here in front of you. Uh, this is a fairly uh, generic uh, tool, you can buy these uh, inexpensively on eBay, uh, little cheap kits now, probably £20-£25, something like that, uh, £30-$35. Uh, so they're not that expensive uh, but a really really useful tool for when you're working on your brakes and you need to rewind the calipers. Uh, so a very very worthy investment and we'll give you a kind of a, a quick overview today on uh, kind of the basics of how it works. Uh, one thing to bear in mind you can buy on eBay also these little kind of multi um, cube uh, bits which have you know, some of the more kind of common um, uh, caliper rewind sizes on them and all you do is you attach your uh, 3 8 wrench into it and then you literally t turn it like you would kind of any other part using your um, using your wrench. Uh, these are okay uh, but for example you know, I'm, I'm working on a, an Audi uh, RS6 today and this will not fit the rear caliper uh, properly um, on that particular car. So they're okay but they are quite limited uh, so really if you can you really want to get yourself one of these they're well well worth the money. So quick basic overview of what we've got in this kit. Uh, you see we've got the, uh, these two kind of piston tools here and what these, uh, what these do is uh, quite simply they've got two little pins on the end and you literally uh, twist it through. Now the reason that we've got two of these is because calipers rewind in different directions so the threads are set in uh, different directions. Uh, some rewind to the left, some rewind to the right. So if you watch for example on this one as I turn it uh, clockwise we'll see the gap getting uh, bigger and if I do that on the uh, on the opposite tool here, uh, again turning clockwise, you see the gap getting smaller. So the threads are set the opposite way around, depending on whether you want to um, uh, re whether you have to rewind the caliper uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. So that's why there's two of these. Next up, you can see this vast uh, selection of various different plates. The uh, the basic principle of all these plates is it's kind of the same, if you like. They basically got two, um, or some have got more, two or three, uh, or one or however many it might be depending on uh, what brand it is of a caliper you're working on these little kind of notches and what they do is these are going to fit into um, little slots uh, that are on the uh, the piston and that will allow you to rewind it so what you do with this you can see all of them have got the uh, the two holes in the center and that's to allow them to connect uh, to this plate here and uh, it's magnetic so just pop it on find the uh, the one that fits your car out of the uh, the selection that you've got in the box and then snap that on uh, like so and uh, the other thing you're going to need uh, is this plate right here and then once we've got that we're pretty much ready to attack the car. So to attach the plate you just feed the, uh, the handle uh, through and that sits in there like so. And the basic principle of, uh, of how this works I'll show you in a minute on the caliper uh, but basically this sits on the uh, the inside edge of the caliper like so and the other the other end is going to uh, lock into the um, the, the piston itself and obviously as you turn this it kind of it opens up the gap in between the two whilst uh, turning the caliper to re rewind it and that's going to open this space up and that allows you the space to to fit your brand new uh, brake pads into uh, these are obviously designed um, for the uh, rear calipers and uh, what you'll find is uh, on the front calipers, on the rear calipers you actually have to turn them to, to rewind them. So to get that, that piston to retract into the caliper you actually have to turn it and that's what this tool um, is for. Now these actually come with a, a little adapter plate like so. Um, so if you're doing that on a, on a front caliper and you want to use this tool on a front caliper you can absolutely do that. Just put that up against the other uh, piston on the one side. It's got no, no uh, knob jewel so it doesn't need to turn. You know, the whole thing can just uh, just spin freely. So, so the whole thing can turn like that and as you get uh, the um, pressure between the two it will probably just turn uh, within itself like so. So that's if you're doing the front calipers. Uh, but as we're doing the rear, which is what uh, most of this kit's for, snap that back on and then let's have a look. Okay now looking at the rear caliper uh, this is uh, what needs to be rewound and uh, this obviously needs to be turned it's not like a front caliper which can just be pushed straight back it's got these two grooves uh, in it um, and you want to match up the uh, the tool from your uh, from your brake rewind kit uh, find the right uh, front piece that will go into these two slots and then that will allow that to be turned and it's the turning motion uh, that will drive that um, piston back into the caliper There, 
so that's correctly aligned. You see we've got the uh, the little uh, kind of knob jewels on the back of the uh, the plate there are fitted into the grooves and uh, we've got this uh, fitted safely in situ just there. I've just kind of got it hand tight and then from this uh, point on we use the, uh, the handle to rewind the caliper.